Let's get to another early 90s action film starring Brandon Lee. Let's do it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another early 90s action film. And just like I said about Stone Cold, the early 90s action films all had their, their two feet firmly planted in the 80s. These are essentially 80s action films just in the early 90s. And this movie was a starring role for Brandon Lee. He was just coming off of Showdown in Little Tokyo with Dolph Lundgren. And this is the movie he did right before he went off to do The Crow. And unfortunately, as we know, on The Crow set, he was killed from an onset accident. Um, unfortunately, because he had a lot of promise and it's a, he was definitely taking from this world way too soon. But we are talking about Rapid Fire here. Rapid Fire was released in 1992 on a budget of $10 million. It went on to make $14 million and some change um, during its theatrical release. Um, this movie was directed by Dwight Little, who directed Mark for Death for Steven Seagal the year before, or a couple years before, and before that he did um, Halloween, uh, Halloween 4. And after this, he went on to do Murder 1600, Wesley Snipes, Free Willy 2, and an Anaconda sequel. And after that, he mostly did just TV. But Dwight Little did really good with the two action films he was given early on. Well, he did good with Murder 1600 too, but Mark for Death in this one, he does a really nice job. But he wasn't who Brandon Lee wanted to direct this film originally. Brandon Lee wanted John Woo to direct this film. But the studio didn't want John Woo for whatever reason. And since Mark for Death was a huge success for the studio, they gave the movie, they offered it to Wait Little, and he took it. And he does a really nice job with the action scenes, just like he did in Mark for Death. He, he shoots the film very nicely. Um, no complaints in that department. There's a few odd edits during the action scenes, but overall, it's very well shot. Um, the edit thing, that's just whatever happened in the editing room. But uh, he did, does shoot a nice action picture. Because uh, you can see all the fights, all the gunfights, all the moves. It's really well done. Um, this movie, obviously, Brandon Lee plays Jake Lowe. We have Powers Booth as Mace Ryan, a Chicago detective who's undercover trying to take down um, Tao, this Chinese mafia type dude. And um, we also got Kate Hodge in this movie as Powers Booth's um, help, um, assistant cop in this film. She works for him. And we got Nick Mancuso, who was in Under Siege 1 and 2. He plays Serrano. It's kind of like Italian mob guy. And in the beginning of the film, Jake, Brandon Lee's character Jake, is a college student. And there's a lot of protests going on campus, and these protesters, these Chinese protesters, want him to join their protest because his father was at Tiananmen Square opposing the, the communist regime, and he got killed by the, the regime um, when they rolled the tanks through there. And Jake saw it. So these people think he has something to say people would listen to him. But he wants nothing to do with politics, and he keeps blowing them off. And he takes, he has an art class, and there's this really pretty blonde girl that's naked at her drawing. And she asks him out on a date if she'd meet him, want to, want to go out with her, and he says, yeah. And he meets her at this kind of nice warehouse that's all done up like a loft kind of deal. And he, um, he goes, and when he realizes what it is, he's kind of disappointed, but he hangs around. And the Chinese businessman that lets him use his space works for Tao. And by this point, Serrano already had a meeting with Tao and they've had a kind of a fallen out and Serrano comes to kill the Chinese businessman which Jake witnesses and a big firefight breaks out and Jake kills a bunch of guys and he gets away and the FBI wants Jake to testify against Serrano because they want to take Serrano out little does Jake know the FBI guy who wants him to do this is a dirty cop and they take him to Chicago and they stuff him in his apartment with the three FBI agents to protect him and they end up trying to kill him, and he gets away. But they also set him up because they killed the other FBI agent, and they blame it on Jake. So now the cops think he's a cop killer as well. And this is where Powers Booth character comes in. He's undercover trying to take Tao out in Chicago because Tao's running heroin in the Chicago. And he has a run-in with, or Kate Hodges' character has a run-in with Jake. They take him in, and Mace wants to, Jake to help him take down Serrano and Tao, which he agrees to. Not He doesn't really want to do it, but he agrees to do it because he has to clear his name. And there's some, they send him undercover or in a sting, and there's a big shootout at this Italian restaurant that goes on for quite a while, actually, and it's really well shot. This movie is a hard R, by the way, definitely. I mean, like I said, it's basically a, a, an 80s action film. It's definitely a hard R. They don't pull any punches in this flick. Um, and then as the end of the movie, they, have, they go after Tao, and they get him at the end. 
And it's all really well done. It's a really well done R-rated action film. And it's only an hour and 35 minutes long. It moves along quick. The pace keeps moving forward. Brandon Lee is a great action star. It's a shame that he got killed on the set of The Crow. He definitely would have had a long career. He has charisma. He's a good actor. You like him. And it's Bruce Lee's kid. I mean, what, what the hell else do you want? But yeah, it's a really well done action film. I would give this movie 8 out of 10. If you've never seen Rapid Fire, it's definitely worth checking out. I know Apple iTunes has it for purchase. You could probably rent it from there. That's how I own it off Apple iTunes. Um, I'm sure it's probably streaming somewhere, but I don't know. Just check it out if you get a chance. It's definitely, if you like R-rated action films, and you definitely, I think you'd definitely enjoy this one. Have you seen this film? Let me know. Like I said, I just gave it an 8 out of 10 for me. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think um, about this film, if you've ever seen it. And hit the thumbs up for me. I greatly appreciate it. So hit the subscribe button. Join me here. I release about three videos, four this week, probably more, maybe five videos this week. I've watched a lot of movies over the weekend because of everything going on. Um, I just watched the 89 Batman with my son for the first time tonight. He loved it, so look for a review from that. I'm gonna do a review on that movie. And I will be back soon. You all take care of yourself, and I'll be back. See ya.